Hi, this is the first video in year 5 of the restoration of the Lancaster NX611 at Lincolnshire Aviation Heritage Centre at East Kirkby in the UK. It's on a 10 year programme to restore to airworthy condition. Now last week's video, video 119, I confused a lot of you saying that this was the last video in year 4. It was but not the last video in year 2021. I'll read this piece because I get confused. The restoration year starts on the first or second Monday in November and ends the following November on the first or second Saturday after the night taxi run. This is governed by where the 5th of November falls, our Guy Fawkes night. Confused? Right, right, the Lancaster is taken into the hangar and the winter service starts and the restoration for year 5 will start. I'm not sure what the programme of year 5 is yet, I haven't seen Andrew to have a word with him. And thanks to everybody who sent in comments, they really do help me and boost me on to produce more of these videos. And thanks for watching. Last week I was talking to Brad about these four airworthy Rolls Royce engines and I put a caption up saying they cost £5 million. It was incorrect. The caption should have read £500,000, half a million. Sorry about that folks. So we'll go over to Lazenow who's working on the leading edge of the French home. Yes, yeah. That's where the uh, cable cutter went. Oh, is it? Yeah. So we're picking that up. Yeah. Put the steel or aluminium with these. Aluminium. Yeah. You can feel the weight, it's yeah. nice and light. It's thick. Yeah, it's a substantial piece. The cable cutters, were they just um, two kind of V-shaped when the cable got in it, it cut it or yeah. how did the work? Yeah, John is the expert on that. Oh, he's in ways about, I'll have a word with him then. I mean, it's the housing was all corroded. Oh, was it? Because they actually sit in a housing, bolted onto there. Yeah. So if they hit this part of the, the wing, the cable, did the slide into that? Yes, that was the idea. Yeah. It actually slid into the groove. Yeah. I mean, this one had a blanking plate on it. Yeah. It took out. This is a housing for... Yeah, for the cable cutter. The John? Cable. John. We, we're on about cable cutters, John. Yeah. What actually fitted in this housing? Was it a, a V-shape? I'll be back. You'll be back. All right. That was the blanking plate that was over the top of it. Yeah, I mean, clearly, so that, yeah. there came a point when it was just not needed. Yeah, and that just fitted on top yeah. of there, did it? So that housing, yeah, that the was, cable cutter... That would have been fitted from underneath. Oh, it, uh, it didn't, uh, didn't drop through the hole then, it fitted... Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. You know. Oh, and then we want the other side left with it. Uh, There was no operation on the cable cutter, it was just a V-shape and it cut itself. There was no, no... I, I, I think there was an action. Oh, I was mean, I, I'm I was honest. looking at this cable, looks so it's a cable coming out of yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I mean, if John can tell you, because he's, I mean, yeah. he's a, an expert on this stuff. Yeah. yeah I bet he's got one. Yes. Oh, yeah. See, I knew right. he got So how did it fit then, John? That's, that's the housing which fits on the, uh, the lead and edge of the wing. It's going to be a blue oh, yeah. yeah. And that's what you see on the outside. Yeah. On the inside of the wing and the armour comes along and he inserts one of these into it. This one's still got part of the housing. Did you? Still, still on the operate then? Did they operate? Oh. Then mechanically, what we got here 
We have a... We have this knife. And all it is, is a 12 bore cartridge in there. With that slug. Yeah. That's, a 12 that's bore your, cartridge? Yeah, there's a 12 bore cartridge in there. You take that out. And screw that out. Stick this 12 bore cartridge in with that in the end of it instead of a, a load of shot or a bullet. Then the firing pin is held open by that as a spring in here. And what happens is the cable comes along, goes alongside the wing, goes into there, knocks that lever back, which knocks that lever out there, lets a firing pin hit the cartridge, explodes the charge in the cartridge and cuts the cable. Very simple. Or screwdrivers, fingers, it'll do anything. I bet it will. Oh yeah. So would this be for a pocket mechanism then, would it? No, no, that, that's... That's the cable. Yeah, there, there's a nut on the end of there. Right. Which holds it, holds it in. Certain thing that oh, holds it in. Yeah. So, who's the other one? It's a job of the armourers. Yeah. To change it's these. It's just a one cut. You, once you fire... Well, obviously, that's once it, you yeah. fire, it does it. Yeah. Yeah, many, many a grand crew have come a cropper by uh, get, getting their screwdriver and go, how do they work? <laughs> 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 screwdriver gone. Yeah. So there you go. You get a double one as well. There's the one either side, yeah. wherever it is in the wing. <clears throat> yeah, but it's very, very mechanical. Oh, is the cable led into to the... It just scrapes along the leading edge of the wing. Yeah. And that's... That's basically sticking out like that. Yeah. Cable comes along into it, sets it off, bang, that's it. So this is the leading edge, yeah. and this is the, yeah. um, not the leading edge, this is the outer section, this is the inner section then, is it? Yeah. So that, that's how it works. And so some, sometimes you get, it, you get a double one as well. So I take it, this side. part is right close to the, the wing tip, because the wing tip had the metal, the steel, Leading edge, didn't it? There are one, two, three, four, five, six on the wing. Six what? Six of these. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh. What one next to the fuselage or near the fuselage? One next to the outer engine, and then the other side of the outer engine next to that engine, and then next to the outboard engine. Outboard of the outboard engine and at the wing tip. Oh, blow my own. Yeah. Oh. The thing is, yeah. if, the if, you, gets if, you, if you look at the length, you can, you can see the, the covers on them. And you can count them. I've got to have a look now, yeah. John. It's a lot bigger, the hole. I can see better when I get home then looking through this little screen. Yeah. Oh, next to the big. Yeah, a little patch in the leading edge. Yeah. Well, that's and a couple, couple, couple of those will be will be double ones, so it doesn't matter which side, side the cable from. comes yeah. from, it'll get it. Did they uh, come into use very regular? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah but the, this this one came out of the Hamden. Oh, did it? Yeah. So it did, very, you know, so they use the right same in the Hamden as the Lancaster? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right from the start of the war we were using these. Yeah, very simple operation and didn't take a, didn't take a lot to set one off. No. Yeah, because yeah. I heard a story of them putting a, um, a canvas canopy cover on, on, onto a Lancaster and there's a chap underneath waiting for the straps to come down so he could tie them off. And you heard a bang, and then the strap come <laughs> onto the floor. Oh no! <laughs> so even 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 the, even the strap going into yeah. there set that off. It's, yeah. it's very fine. So yeah. yeah. So when the Lancaster landed, did they take the charges out every time, or did they yeah. leave them in permanent? Oh, if, if it hadn't gone off, it'd be a, be in there permanent. They'd leave it. Like, it's just yeah. the ground crew not stick the fingers and screwdrivers in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's, yeah. that's a good yeah, the, story, that. Yeah, there's a little access panel in the uh, in the wing below it so they get behind, undo the nut, take the unit out. It'll be sticking out like that, yeah. like that. Get another one, stick it in, and take this back to the arm, armory and, and reset it. Ready, ready for uh, put it to another aircraft. That's a good story. Yeah. Well, we've been educated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll take all right. 
what was the what's those for then? Oh, they for putting the cutter in, are they? Isn't it? Um, I'm not sure what that one's for. That's probably for changing the anvil. Yeah. Okay. Put your in case you got <laughs> that won't go off. <laughs> that certainly won't go off. Because it's uh, yeah. is it solid that or can it move? Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's in. Oh, that should go up yeah. there and, and fire the cartridge off. Yeah. So it's it, it as a safe. Yeah, and the other one is is just a screw for the screw thread that goes into there. You see, yeah. screw it in. Yeah. Yeah. That's it as a sharp and really really hard. Yeah. Well, what was this cable for coming through there then? There was no cable. What? Well, no. Well, what was this for then? I know. I thought there, there's a, a screw. Cable. There's a screw thread in there. And you've got a bolt coming from there all the way down to there and you actually screw it into the handle. Mm. Mm. So John says that bit on there is actually a bit of this. Yeah, so that, yeah. that is part, part, part of the housing, housing. That is it. Yeah, that goes, yeah. yeah. So that's purely for the locating feature for that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But it's, it's almost handy, isn't it? Yeah. Sure it goes in the mm. right way around. Mm. Yeah. Well, of course it will be, won't it? Yeah. You yeah. can't get it in the wrong way. There's the, there's the, uh, the spring of the firing thing. Oh, where, where do the cartridge fit in then? Undo that that receptacle there and it fits in inside there. Mm -hmm. And then that whole thing screws in into it. Mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. it. So that, that unit comes out completely to put the cartridge in? Yeah. Lock it on. Yeah. That was it. That's great. And what? Oh, that's just where the casing is corroded yeah, away. Yeah, so just co cover it over. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Thank you. Very, oh. very simple. Very effective. Yeah. yeah. Saved many of their plane. I'd say that was, and uh, destroyed many a screwdriver as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Right, I'll let you ride to get on then, thank you. Right, so it's only a case of getting corrosion off it. Yeah. And giving the key for the a flash of pink. Yeah. yeah, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, there are some areas that John has found some horrible corrosion. Um, one of the spars has got quite a bit of corrosion on it. The, no. That's part of the, the, uh, it's, it's the main spar way. It's, it's mm. absolutely blown. Absolutely gone. What, where the bolt holes are? Um, yeah, just, just, just along here. Along here, you can see where all this metal is blown around all, all the, all the bolts here and around the mountain here. It's actually, <coughs> that's actually part, part of the spar web there. Are absolutely blown all the way down to the spar, but it hasn't touched the spar at all. Oh, good. Yeah, we're very How lucky far there. Is this? How long is this section? Where does this well, end? from from here, from here up to ooh, where you can see all the rivets in the join there, well, we'll where, where, where the other uh, piece of staging is. Yeah. So it's quite a big sheet. So you've got some drilling up to do there then. Uh, uh, just a little bit, yes. Yes, and uh, oh, it's good practice for the uh, for the real thing. Yeah, yes, it's true. 